boy Rob coming back from Rob's gym. A couple of my uh, good friends right here, all right? My boy Nate, fiance Whitney, all right? And they're gonna talk to you guys about what the gym means to them. So y'all sit back and enjoy. Basically like this. Uh, started working out, got tired of people calling me slim, hated it, and then I decided to put some muscle on. And basically, uh, yeah, it was the end of that. Nobody called me slim ever again. Now they just call me like Big Nate, which is great, because <laughs> I'm Nate the Great. <laughs> but no, uh, I mean, I do everything from like running, cycling, powerlifting, uh, calisthenics, uh, Olympic lifts. Uh, I've done bodybuilding. I've actually competed on stage. So uh, it's just, this is great. I just like pushing my body to new limits. I mean, who doesn't like to see how strong they are, how fast they are? Some people don't, but I like it. I'm into it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you just, you just can't teach this shit, really. You really can't. Uh, I don't know, even know any other way to put it. I think C.T. Fletcher said it best himself. It's like people first want to go out and buy supplements off the break, but it's not the supplements. You got to first see what your body can do before you actually take supplements. So you need to see what you can actually physically do, what your limits are. And then after you see what your limitations are, then you can say, okay, well, I need a supplement to get me through this stage or like this little wall that I'm going through. And then after you get through that wall, then you just get off the supplement because you don't want your body uh, adapting to that thing. So, but yeah, that's what, uh, that's, I guess that's my little two cents for that in the, in the gains. My turn. All right. Can you hear me? <laughs> me personally, I'm new to, to this whole gym gym life, gym uh, uh, lifestyle. Uh, I previously was active. I used to dance. I did ballet for about, about 15 years since I was four years old. And then, got then I turned 19 and I stopped dancing. And then I got lazy and then I gained weight and then I got uncomfortable with that weight. And then I met this guy right here. And then I realized that his whole gym lifestyle was something I wasn't used to but I saw how committed and how dedicated he was to it. And I was like, well, I wanna be that dedicated to something as, as much as he is. So he's my motivator. Aww. And now I'm motivating myself because I'm motivated to get into a wedding dress and I don't want them up in time. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess my, my advice is find something that motivates you, you stick to it. And once you get into the, the groove of it, it's like, easy you know wake up do it come home from work do it like go to the gym not it but uh <laughs> go to the gym find something that motivates you and you stick with it and it's gonna get easier so best of luck that's why that's why she got the ring okay <laughs> peace good people and that's all she wrote <laughs> That means y'all get off your behinds, right? Get in the gym, get active. You guys in a relationship with someone, get each other active. Work together, be a team, all right? Up I until got then, beans, greens, potatoes. Okay. No, all right. You get hyped up just like that. <laughs> up until then, guys, this it's is your boy cool. Rob signing up from Rob's Gym. You guys know what to do if you like the video. Like, comment, subscribe down below. <laughs> <laughs>